he takes with him, but everything he does for others, he leaves behind. So when you begin to say, what is it that I want to leave? What contribution that I want to begin to make? What difference do I want to make in life? What is it that I want to do with the rest of the life that I have left? What, what chances I need to take? What risks do I need to begin to embrace? What fears do I need to step on? What areas of my life am I dead right now? What dream? You can either live your dreams or live your fears. You have got to get to a point where you say, I'm sick and tired of living like this. There's got to be more. That's, see, that's when people go out and, and strike out on their dreams. That's when people get out of relationships where they're dying together rather than growing together. The impulse to dream has been slowly beaten out of me through the experience of life. And most people, ladies and gentlemen, have stopped living their dreams because of the lessons they've learned from life or things they've picked up because we've only been born with two fears. The fear of a loud sound or the fear of falling. And all the other fears of fears we learn. Fears we pick up. Whatever you're scared of. Your life. The value you brought to the planet. Far more important. Whatever you're afraid of. You're stronger. So as we begin to look toward the future. And look at what will it take. For us to break through those fears. One acknowledging the fear. Knowing it's all right, some fear is healthy. Beginning to know that your dreams, your passions, your drive to achieve whatever it is you want, as it has more power and meaning, it will move you past your fears. As you begin to feel that you deserve it, your passion and goal is so strong, the fears won't matter. As you begin to trust yourself, and put yourself in the situation where you have to make it happen. You will make it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't believe this. I know this from my own life experience. I know that you've got greatness within you. I know that you have unlimited potential in you. I know that you have something to give to the universe. I think it was Joe Frazier who said this one. He says, all of us, are like the blind man at some point in our lives standing on the corner waiting for somebody to lead us across. So all of us at some point in our lives need some help, need someone to reach out to us, to throw out the lifeline, to help us go across some treacherous waters that we couldn't navigate by ourselves. None of us do it by ourselves. All of us at some point in our lives, we need that kind of help. We need that kind of assistance because we grow from the people we have in our lives that can enrich our lives personally, professionally, spiritually, and all the dimensions of our lives. We don't grow in a vacuum. So as you look at yourself, what are the fears you have that maybe you need some help in strengthening yourself in that area? As you assess your strengths and your weaknesses, as you begin to approve yourself and your passions and your dreams and your goals and the things that you want, if you decide to experience all of your true potential, as you decide to manifest all of your greatness, as you decide, wait a minute, what, what else is available to me out here? If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of, of standing by myself, what else is available? Of taking a chance, a fear of losing it all, what else is available to me? that will bring some extra meaning and value. The fear of people not liking me. You know how many people do things they don't want to do because they want everybody to like them? Accept yourself, then you accept the fear as a fact and not a force. See, when you accept yourself and you accept fear as a fact, that means that it's something that happens, it's something that you're going to experience but it is not a force to hold you back. It doesn't have any special power other than that that you give it. So you accept the fact that you are afraid and then you move on anyhow. You can have fears, but don't surrender. Don't let your fears have you. You're more than capable of making this your decade.